that would help. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Jeanette Martin, one of the creators and co-founders of the Gratitude and Appreciation Summit. And it's the second thankful Thursday of 2021. It mm -hmm. sure is. Well, welcome, 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 everyone. I'm Kathy Fester. I'm a co-founder of, of GAS, uh, Gratitude and Appreciation Summit. And we are thrilled to have a past speaker joining us tonight from our October event. Um, a dear, sweet friend of mine, um, excellent, excellent um, entrepreneur, mom, wife, friend, Diane Rolston from Dynamic Women. Welcome and thank, welcome back to our, 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 our well, event. I, I just feel thankful for that intro. There we go. <laughs> it's I, easy. Yeah. It rolls off the tongue so beautifully because it's the truth. It absolutely oh, well, is true. Thank so you. we, we spent uh, we spent five days doing a reset with you, which was really, yes. really great to knock off 2021. And we thought, you know, we've been through so much in 2020. Mm -hmm. um, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, but it is a long tunnel still, but we can do it. Um, and as we're all looking at goals and intentions and where we want to be, I don't know, I thought maybe you'd have some insight on all of that. Maybe, eh? Maybe. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, at the start of every year, I love to do my five-day reset. And I always gift that to my women's community that I have, the Dynamic Women community. And I do it in the Facebook group so that everyone that's there can participate. We have over 800 women. Um, and it's, it's really my, my gift in appreciation to the community hmm. and because I believe so much in these steps that I do. Um, and I know this year I made it a little bit different based on just kind of where we are with the pandemic. And I feel like this way to do it is probably the way I'll continue doing it moving forward. Oh, good. Um, okay. You know, the, a lot of the pieces that, that we did jump into the previous year are pieces from my dynamic year program. And I don't feel like I give them enough justice. I can't go as deep as I need to go. And so doing it in the five day reset just doesn't make sense. Uh, plus some of the activities that we did, right? Every day there was an implementation, mm -hmm. a pretty simple one that everyone could do because I wanted everyone to win the start of the year. Yeah. You know, yeah. like there's so many things out there that are like, here's this really intense program or whatever. And, and I feel like people can't handle that. Plus I did it over New Year's. So it needed to be digestible. And so it was so lovely to just be able to jump on. And eventually I was like, no, whatever Facebook lives, we're going to do Zoom and I'm going to actually work with you. Um, mm -hmm. Cause that's when I feel like I can, I can do my best. And mm -hmm. so it was, it was cool, you know, and theme to what you, both of you ladies do. The first day was all about gratitude mm -hmm. and it wasn't, um, it's not gratitude for like, what is life giving us? Let's be grateful in the moment. Let's be grateful today. It was, let's stop poo-pooing 2020, <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's stop looking at 2020 as the most horrible year ever. Because like, look at history. It could have been way worse, yes. way worse. Yes. For some people, it was the best. For some of my clients, they had the best financial year ever. Yeah. They reached some of this. One, she bought her dream RV and dream plot of land in like just a couple of months of, of working together. Another client wrote her book that she had to do like full on research for, wrote her book in just a couple of months. Like, I don't, I don't want everyone to be looking at it for all the negative. I lost my father, right? I had a lot of bad stuff happen. And there is still so much we can be grateful for. So first step everyone should do, if they haven't done it yet, just look back at 2020 and think, what am I grateful for in that year? And even if it's, I survived, yes. <laughs> I survived. Yes. I didn't, I didn't like kill my children because they were home, but I didn't do it. And, and I was able to keep a roof over my head. I was able to pay my bills. And even if you're like, but I'm in debt, Hey, but you're still surviving. Yeah. So be grateful, even in the negative. Yeah. Oh, I love how you phrase that. That's a whole new concept for me. So really? Diane, like just that whole thought process of be grateful in the negative. So many times it's gra gratitude is connected to positivity, positivity, positivity. Yeah. But that's interesting how using that gratitude as the light to the negativity. So you know what it was so you can move beyond it. 
Yeah, well, and and I know we touched on faith before. I, I've been deepening my faith in 2020. That's one area where I can be like, I'm super satisfied. I've done well, like check boxes, feeling good. And, you know, in the past couple of years, I really, be, I'm feeling like I've been pruned, right? You mm. prune back the vine. And, and even if you're not faith-based and you, you don't get my reference here, just just think of like a, an apple tree or the grape vines. Mm. The branches that are the vines that aren't producing need to be cut back, but mm -hmm. the ones that are producing are still cut back in order to have a greater harvest. Greater harvest, yeah. Right? And so even in the loss, there can be a reemergence of something bigger, something greater. And so I always see like, okay, so that door was closed. That sucked. But <laughs> like, okay, where's the next door? Or yeah. what did I learn from that? You know, I count, I still count my blessings for the, it was horrible be going home to visit my family and realize my dad's in palliative care and yeah. now he's dying. That sucked. But there were so many blessings along the way. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm a stronger person and I now have an extra layer to me where I can support my clients. Yeah. Absolutely. Where, and, and I can support friends that I just, I couldn't do it before because I haven't experienced grief to this degree. That's a great way of looking at it, Diane. Oh, wow. Well, but you, well, you, you know, you, you got to. And then yeah. my Facebook yeah. account was disabled. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, I like, got what's the alternative, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Either look at it as a learning piece um, or yeah, but you really have no other choice really to move forward, I believe it helps you to gain control again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're a victim to your circumstances, mm -hmm. then you don't have control and you're reactive and then you're in trauma and then you can't get over it. Yeah. But the second you're like, you know what, 2020? Yeah, I owned you. Like yeah. some of the, some of the aspects were awesome. And that, that is critical before we can close and move on to the next year. And I, and I have to say, uh, Diane, your, your program came at an incredible time in my life, because 2020, it was it was a great year. It was a, wor a year of adapting and mm. working around and um, just being the best that I could be for my clients to keep them happy, much like you, you know, I'm an entrepreneur as well. And um, I was waking up December 31st to having just a great, like I was day two with you and on track. And I yeah. woke up to a message that a, a very, very good friend of mine passed away the day before sorry wow and it was all along i never said what the f 2020 like i never looked up and uh, and asked the universe what the heck you know what the heck is going on i'm not that type of person and it was so quick for me to go there like what the what why why and your program really helped me get grounded back to honor his um 54 years he was a very yep. young man to honor him through this process. So I'm so grateful for your mm. words and your, your templates that it helped me in a time where it was take the time and learn and, and work on yourself yeah. through this, where I had grandiose plans for business. Yeah. So it, uh, it came right on time, uh, delivered right on time for me. Mm. So I'm very grateful to you mm. and, uh, and your expertise and how you helped me and you didn't know. So thank you. I didn't know. So thank you for telling me. And uh, this is also a really great example of if you feel something about someone or about an experience, share it with them. Because I don't know how many times I, you know, I've been working away and pouring my heart and soul into things and I hear silence. And then one day I bump into someone and then they'll say something like, oh my gosh, that thing you posted like three weeks ago. Oh, that, you know, was so great for me. And then that fuel, it gives me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, and so again, that's back to the appreciation, sharing with others, what you appreciate about who they are and what they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not just the things they're doing, but who they're being. Yeah. And, and Jeanette, you've really talked about, and Diane, you both tied in really well. The whole vision of our gas event mm -hmm. is how we are grateful and appreciative of one another people in our business and to ourselves. And we quite often forget that piece. And there's a demonstration of taking care of yourself, Jeanette. You did what you needed to do that particular day while Diane was giving that guidance that 
helped. You know? Absolutely. And it's like, you know, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all yeah. about, folks. So we're out of time for tonight. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Diane, we could sit here and oh, learn yes. so much from you. Of course. <laughs> Will you come back another night? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back another night. I'll come back to another summit. Yay. <laughs> So we have got um, lots of things coming up the pipeline. Um, we'll be officially launching our April summit on January 28th. So mark your calendar. We've got another guest speaker next week. Um, mark your calendar, April 24th. We're doing our preview show. And then our main event is October 1st and 2nd. And that's in the works. We had an interview with one of the speakers today. And uh, we are so excited. So please join us next week. Thank you, Diane, for your time. Thank and you. Jeanette, as always, love you. And we're going to spread the love, right? Absolutely. Take okay. your right hand, take your left hand, and make the best heart possible. Yeah, on three of us. Two. Oh, we're pumping. We're giving it some action tonight. I love it. One, two, three. Have a great evening, everyone. Thanks for joining Thanks. us. Bye for now. Bye. Bye for now.